Another thing that's so important in this business is making sure discipline and teach your kids. Make them understand discipline is a high form of intelligence. It's a high form of intelligence, fellas. I mean, I know kids that don't do well in math, in English, in sciences, and whatnot. But they can get on the floor and they can demonstrate what's wrong and what's right. They can tell you what's wrong and what's right. They can control what's wrong and what's right. Try and remember, you cannot contain what you can't control. You can't control what you can't contain. That's important. So a player who has control of himself, who tend to control and with some degree of, edu of, of organization, that's a higher form. Oh, man, it's nothing like having a point guard and you tell a man you, you're disciplined. You know what I used to do? I used to make sure I would reward some of my players and make them captain if they could squeal on the other guys. Oh, I did it a couple of times. I made a guy captain because he could squeal on the guys. Coach so-and-so came in late last night. Well, he's off the team. It's a higher form. Make sure you tell your kids, man, when you're disciplined, when you're under control, you can control others. It's like a point guard or a player driving down the floor. If he's out of control, how's he gonna control the defense? How's he gonna control the other team? If he's flying down and he's out of control. You know, speed kills. Speed kills. Some guys are just too goddamn fast that they run in front of the team without having the numbers. Or if you got a breakaway, go take it. But if you're the point guard, you must organize that floor. Make sure that your team is under control. Make sure that you're under control and you're controlling the circumstances so you can win.